I'm Vicki Gervicus from the Greater Gainesville Chamber, and I'm delighted today to welcome Van Elmore, one of our candidates for the Board of County Commission, and he is running for a seat in District 4. We're going to chat with him a little bit today. I've got five questions for him, and we'll get to know him a little bit better. Welcome, Van. Thank you for having me. It's, it's our pleasure to do so. Um, so why don't we jump right in and you uh, give us a little opening and then I've got five questions for you. Okay. So I am Van Elmore. I'm running for County Commission seat, District 4. Um, this happens to be the area that I've grown up in. Uh, I am native to Alachua County. I was born in Gainesville, um, lived in Micanopy, and then raised to here in Hawthorne. Um, graduated from Hawthorne High School. Um, and I've watched over the years as our community has been, for lack of a better way to put it, neglected. Um, and our roads are just falling apart. And the more that I look at that and the more I see that, the more I realize that we need a change. We need somebody to step in that's going to represent our area and try to help get jobs out here, help improve our road conditions out here, um, and help in the overall out here. Um, we do like our country living out here. I will say that. Um, so I'm not looking to make a Miami or Jacksonville out of, out of our county um, by no means, but I think that our job industry should be sp spread out across our county so that it's not all compiled into one area. Um, with Gainesville being the center with our university there, um, which I am a solid Gator fan. Um, so <laughs> Uh, I, I do, I do realize that's the center of our county, but we also have an outer ring that, that needs to be taken care of as well. Right. Very good. Okay. Well, let's jump in and, um, give you a chance to, uh, amplify some of those thoughts. Um, the first question I have for you is what do you think the role of the board of county commission is in our community? I think the role of the board of county commission is to to oversee and to look into the best of our abilities to provide a solid infrastructure so that businesses can grow, um, to provide the, the health and well care, well-being of, of our citizens, um, which means we need to have a solid fire department, a solid EMS service, and we need to have a solid uh, law enforcement agency. Um, We've had in both fire, in all three, actually fire, EMS, and law enforcement, we've had a large overturn, over turnover in personnel recently. So we need to kind of look into that. And we need to have good roads. The better our roads are, the more likely people are to want to come to our, our city and our county. Okay, terrific. Um, I think this is a good segue into our next question, which is, uh, what do you perceive are the three most important concerns facing Alachua County today? The three biggest concerns for me are, number one is roads. Our roads are in terrible shape. Um, it's been said by the roads and bridge director that it's going to take $41 million to get our roads just to improve them a little bit, not even bring them all the way up to where they're in great shape. Um, so we really need to focus on our roads. Um, and I think that the way to do that is we need to scrutinize our budget. We need to find the money that we need to get our roads to where it needs to be, not add additional taxes. Um, the other thing that we have is, um, is, is our public safety, fire, EMS, law enforcement. Um, I retired from Alachua County Fire Rescue over a year ago, um, and it's, there's a struggle now to keep personnel in, in, in all three divisions, fire, EMS, and law enforcement. Um, we need to see why, what's going on, um, why are people leaving, um, so that we can understand and better fix the problem. Uh, I do know that we need more ambulances in, in town in the city of Gainesville because the call load gets great in there at times and we need to be able to cover that and handle that. Um, and then the other thing is our tax rate. Our tax rate, 
goes up constantly. Um, and a lot of times blue collar workers, uh, if you will, people like myself, um, you know, middle-class people feel like that a lot of times we're being used as an open source of money. We're a blank check. Oh, we'll just raise taxes or we'll just add another one cent sales tax, or we'll, we'll do this or do that. Um, just to, to gain more money and where is it going? It's not going into our roads. You know, there's other things that it's being shifted around. So where is it going? Okay. Okay. Well, this is a perfect, perfect lead into uh, the next couple of questions that I have for you. Um, we have two amendments that are going to appear on the November ballot, uh, single member districts and the infrastructure sales tax. So let's take those separately as two different questions. Um, what is your position on single member districts first? My position on the single member districts is um, I think it's a good thing. And here's why. Um, because a lot of the outer lying areas um, feel sometimes that they get overlooked because they're my district, we'll use my district as an example. We feel like we get overlooked and the West side gets more because our commissioner doesn't answer to us. You know, he's not doing anything for us. So, but he can still get elected um, because he is making everybody else on the West side happy. So that, that gets that in there and it takes it away from having to answer to your district. So that's my, I think that it's a good thing having to answer to your district because then you're gonna work harder for your district to make sure that no, not everything needs to be pushed that way, but you're gonna make sure that you're not overlooking it. Okay, very good. Okay, and now you touched on this uh, in a previous question. Um, do you support or oppose the infrastructure sales tax, which to remind everybody is adding a half cent uh, tax onto our existing white wild spaces, public places, and the new half cent would be devoted to roads and other infrastructure. So uh, yes or no on that one, would you say? No, um, I don't. Okay. And my, I don't like to call it an infrastructure tax because the largest portion of that money is going to wild spaces, public places. And so, and then inside that infrastructure portion is also affordable housing and um, a couple of other things. So it, if we were saying, all right, we're gonna add one cent sales tax and it just be for roads, I could probably get on board with that. Now with our economy like it is, it's probably not the best time to try to do that. But with it being for all these other things, um, that's where I, I can't get on board with that because it's not going to strictly to our roads when we need a large amount of money to just to bring our roads up one letter grade. You know, we're at a D now, we need to move to a C. Well, we need $41 million a year to do that. Okay. Very good. Okay, and then just the final uh, wrap-up question for you is, why are you running for the Board of County Commission? Um, well, I kind of touched on that in my opening. I yeah. feel like our district keeps getting overlooked. Um, Hawthorne is my hometown. Um, it's where I have grown up. I used to walk the streets. You could walk uptown. You could find anything you needed. Um, slowly but surely, all of our businesses are dying out. If you want to, if you if if you're going to work, you have to drive to at least the middle of Gainesville, if not the other side of Gainesville, um, or you have to drive all the way to Alachua, Newberry, High Springs. There's nothing out here. Uh, when the um, plant closed in Putnam County, that was just over the line, the county line. We lost a lot of jobs, and there's nothing that's being re there's nothing replacing it. And I feel like our commissioners, they don't care. Um, the city is doing their best with the funds that they have 
to try and set up a way for uh, job to come out here, uh, but our county doesn't seem to want to help them. Uh, I was in one of the joint meetings and proposals were made, but there's never been any follow through. Okay. All right. Terrific. Well, those are the set questions I have for you. So now you have a little time. If there are any other issues you want to uh, bring out, or if you just want to wrap it up and uh, bring us home, the floor I is will, yours. I would <laughs> love to wrap it up with a real simple thing is I am not for new taxes. I am not for increased taxes. If anything, I want to see our taxes decrease. Um, I, I'm not for moving all industry to Hawthorne to my district, no, I want it to be more spread out so that the it's equally uh, equitable to everybody um, at this time. You know, I want everybody to be available, be able to get to work that want to work, that can work and need jobs. They should be available to them. And we shouldn't have towns like Hawthorne and Waldo that are wasting away in this county, not with as prosperous as our county can be. And, and with all the things we have to offer in Alachua County for people to visit, for people to come to and, and all, we should not have this happening anywhere in our county. Very good. All right, well, it has been great talking to you today, Van. And I just want to uh, make everyone aware that uh, we at the Greater Gainesville Chamber encourage everyone to get out, make your voice heard in this important election. Election day is Tuesday, November 8th. And you will, you can learn all about the candidates uh, and the other important dates and things you need to know on our website, greatergainesvillechamber.com. Thanks again, Van. It was a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Have a wonderful day. You too.